Yo, what's up everybody? Chef Trey Strong's here and welcome to the Elevated Chef. Today we're going to be getting down on some peppermint bark pretzel rods. Let's head to the kitchen. So for this tasty treat, I'll be using semi-sweet chocolate chips, half and half, infused coconut oil. Check out the recipe over on the channel. Some peppermints and of course, you'll need some pretzel rods. Start by putting a saucepan over medium to high heat and adding about a half a cup of your chocolate of choice. Again, I'm using semi-sweet. Once your chocolate is added to your pot, slow and steady wins the race on the meltdown of this chocolate. Once your chocolate has started to melt down, you can then add your infused coconut oil and then stir your chocolate to help the melting process and the melding process once adding the oil. Once your chocolate has begun to melt down and you don't see as many chips, you can stir and add in little by little, also known as the technique of tempering, some of your half and half or even heavy whipping cream to make your ganache. Again, little by little adding your cream, that should come together nicely in a kind of darker, chocolatey, yummy deliciousness all in one pan. You don't want to make it too thin because you do want the chocolate to set up nicely on the press. Once your chocolate and your cream are combined, you can set aside in a taller pan if you can or pot. It's going to make the dipping of the pretzel a lot easier later on. Before you dip your pretzels, you will need to break down your peppermints. So this is a good way to let out some aggression by smashing them into nice little candy cane pieces. Once you got those ready, you can start dipping your pretzels into your chocolate and then layering them out onto a piece of parchment paper, making sure they're all nice and coated with just a little area to grab onto. Once they're all nice and coated with chocolate, go ahead and spread a little sprinkle of seasoning, seasonings and seasons greetings onto your pretzels and you got you a banger holiday treat that's good enough to eat. So minty and tasty too. So there you have it. These things are fun when you make them for your gromies for the holidays or really any time. Uh, not so much for me when you have to make, you know, like 400 of them for an elevated social event. But it's a good treat and now you guys have it at home. Appreciate you watching. Hit subscribe with the bell next to it to be notified every time I'm dropping dang content like this on you guys. Stay elevated.